In Windchill, you can export your product structure or bill of materials in a variety of different formats. Let's take a look at this. Here I am looking at the CAD document for one of my top level assemblies. You can do it from the CAD document, but I don't recommend that you do it from here. This is why. If you go to the reports drop down list for the product structure, you have two choices a single level report and a multi-level report. If you go to export, you have all the different choices that you have for a WT part. But let's take a look at all the different choices that you have from the WT part. To get to the enterprise part or wind chill part, I will go to the related objects tab. Here is the WT part. I will click on the information icon. Let's go to the structure tab. And here we can see the product structure. If you go to your views drop down list, you can change which table view that you're using. I'm currently using the export product structure table view that I created in another video. If I go to the reports drop down list over on the side, you'll see that we have a lot of different choices, many more choices than we had from the CAD document. Let me talk about the ones that I use most often. First, you have the multi-level components list and this will take your entire product structure and output a flat bill of materials and I'm going to rearrange the length of some of the different columns in here so you can see the information that we have right now we're getting number version name quantity and state because the table view is set to default You'll notice that this is the only one that I currently have in here. If you want to get different columns in this report, then you can choose customize, just like I showed in the other video on customizing your table views. And then once you have the different columns that you want, you can go to the actions drop down list. And there's one choice, export list to file. And I typically use either CSV or I like XLS, XLSX, or the XLS report. I like the format of that one. Let me close out of here. Another report that I use a lot is just the multi-level bomb. And if we go to that one, you can see that it's actually going to display with the different hierarchy levels in an indented format. And again, you can change the columns and then choose to export the list to the file type of your choice. Let me get out of there. Let's see another one that I use a lot, multi-level bomb with replacements. Very useful, especially for the purchasing people. And again, we've got our list. And in this particular situation, one of our fasteners does have an alternate designated in here. And we can see that from the report. And just to mention a couple of the other ones that I occasionally use. You can do the multi-level bomb with the AML or AML and AVL. AML stands for approved manufacturer list. AVL stands for the approved vendor list. So these are some of the different reports that you have for the product structure of the WT part. Another way of getting this information out of Windchill is by using the export dropdown list. And from the export dropdown list, you can see the variety of different file formats. And again, I typically use CSV or one of the Excel formats. And be aware when you're exporting this, it's going to be based on what you have set up in your product structure. If I remember cor correctly, I usually want to expand all levels to make sure that that gets output. And again, I'm using that export product structure table view that I created. Let's go to the export button and take a look at exporting the XLS report. And I'm just going to dump it out to my desktop. Let's hit the save button. Now let's open this one up. And here you can see the structure report that we have. It's got the indentations. You can then make the changes that you want. Let me enable the editing. And that way I can say, hey, you know what? This should not be center justified. Let's have this left justified and adjust the columns for the information that you want. So again, this is how you can get the 
table view that you're looking at for the product structure output to a file. And so again, from the WT part, you can generate a variety of different reports and you can also export your table view. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.